on everyone, welcome back to another F1 2019 career mode let's play, this is part number 25 and I would like to have a massive apologize to y'all for, for the last 3 to 4 videos with no mic audio, um, I've been, I was, I was, I was sad, I, unfortunately I was sick and I was having some really bad nasal issues and stuff and like I just couldn't handle where I was really like nasally and like it, my throat was hurting stu and stuff. So I still chose to grind videos, but I just couldn't do my I just couldn't do my mic audio. So I turned my mic off for those vids. And yeah, so we're gonna go to the Circuit Paul Ricard, Ricard aka the French Grand Prix, and weather conditions is looking really good. Um. Don't really have any upgrades going in, so I bought a uh, a factory efficiency because I'm really would like to uh, I really would like to get some some less would like to buy some upgrades with less resource points, which honestly that's my next goal to do for for all three departments. Despite I do need to go up here, hopefully. Within the next race or two, I can buy these two upgrades because I need to replace these two here, here shortly. And yeah, because like after this race, they're both going to need to be replaced. My turbocharger is getting replaced now, so good thing is I should have I'm gonna have semi fresh stuff for uh, the Austria Austria Grand Prix at Red Bull Red, Red Bull, which is really good for me because that means I. I, I would get, take that advantage and hopefully dominate the race. But let me go do my practices and qualifying, and I shall see y'all at the grid. Hello and welcome to the circuit Paul Ricard, current home of the French Grand Prix, an event dating all the way back to 1906. It's been held at many venues over the years, with famous moments from Dijon and Manicor, the feature of many a highlights reel. And let's hope we see more of those in the race today. Six lefts and nine rights give us a total of 15 corners here at the circuit Paul Ricard, and a lap covers an overall distance of 3.6 miles. Average speeds will be somewhere in the region of 142 miles per hour, and they'll be maxing out on the Mistral Strait at around 205 miles per hour. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. Let's talk about Gardner. That was a solid result in their last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Gardner lines up on pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Gasly, Weber, Devon Butler, and Raikkonen, Leclerc, Hamilton, Russell, and Kevin Magnussen, Albon, Verstappen, they've taken a grid penalty, Roman Grosjean, and Perez, Bottas, Norris, Lance Stroll, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Sainz, and Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. You've done well to put it on pole, but we've still got work to do. Trying to cover the inside line off the start. So we got the pole, which is great. So we're gonna, of course, run the two-star strategy. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put 15 laps of fuel because of how much Richmond I'm gonna end up using, especially with uh, this start. And we're gonna be pitting on lap five to go from the softs to the mediums. Yeah, to go from the softs to the mediums. So, which is good. So let's go start this race. And the French Grand Prix is now officially underway. Oh, come on, Gasly. He just had to do it. Okay, who's the Williams? That's Russell. Had to be Russell. Uh, 
There's a RA finish. The fact that I went from pole to six. In a couple corners. Sorry about that, Kimmy. I didn't rest down too much for that corner. I'm gonna go ahead and use bridge mode on here because I'm gonna try to see if I can close on Kimmy. The problem is I got George Russell behind me. Closing at a fast rate, but he, but here's the thing, he's not gonna get me time for the corner because I'm gonna out now get him in the corner. So I'm able to still clear oh, Russell. A great start. And he's gonna get the run on he's gonna get the run on the outside, but still not gonna be enough for him. Oh he's 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 challenging. I need to get around him because I don't want to be behind two Williams. I'm gonna get the run out of the corner advantage on Russell. And I'm still trying to, I'm trying to really close in on uh, Kimmy. If I cannot outdo that, if I cannot outdo the corner like that, I'll probably, I'll probably run a better. I also have Butler and Weber in front of me, which is not good for me, especially with Butler, because I can. I can win the rivalry against Butler right now. If I can do it right. I also gotta work on managing these corners properly. I really don't wanna let Russell get you know, by me at all, but I also can't afford out doing these corners. What is wrong with brakes? You know what? I'm, I'm turning it down to standard. This is just ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to lower the deployment from uh, out lap to a hot lap to a good old low. But Russell with the move on the outside and hails it. Leclerc countering on me. We're going to go three wide in the corner and into Leclerc. Russell's still there on me. I'm going to clear Russell, but Leclerc got the guy around both of all three of us. There is a Red Bull still in front still that pulled away from the field. I'm pretty sure that's Vettel. Because he did start second, and he kind of got away from us pretty quick. And Russell tr just tried to pass him back there. I still got to try to figure a way out. We're bound to do it. And I still got Russell behind me. It just sucks that the fact that I got my F2 teammates ahead of me. That guy ticks me off because like I want to fish ahead, but it seems like they got the advantage for this race. So I'm gonna put my car down to mean or er, lead the pit with fuel You'll so be on I can um, lower my ER so I can get more energy for the DRS. I think I feel like this is where I could probably get the Leclerc. I could probably get Leclerc doing that Green way. Flag. And someone might be out of the race behind me now. Who is out of it? We'll say it's a McLaren. There's a McLaren that had an issue. That's Carl Seitz with the issue. He is out of the race. Points implications for Carl Seitz. And they're just going to go right around me. There's no way I can defend it. Actually, I might be able to defend Hamilton. I can defend Hamilton a bit. Okay, Hamilton, back off. But he was a guy around me, so now I gotta go after Russell and Leclerc. I just hope my pitch strategy I can get ahead both of them so I can get a top six. Because I really want to hang on to a top ten before. Because the next track I got coming up after this should probably be a potential best race in the season. It's probably gonna be the best race in, in any season in my career mode. As long as I'm with Renault. If I'm with anyone else, I'll probably do a lot better with their if I was at a better team. But honestly, I know it's way early in the season to think about next season, but I might just stay at Renault and do a Renault, and this would be a Renault uh, career mode, honestly. Because honestly, I should work on getting them and bringing them into the tournaments and champs. Got to upgrade my DRS up. Hales is trying to make a move, but he just didn't make, he just didn't have enough time to make the move. Now turn two, I'm getting the run on Russell. And the turn, I don't know what it is, four, 
I believe it was. Get me a little contact with Russell. In the six, I'm gonna say I'm gonna clear Russell for P7. Russell Hamilton and Verstappen had a huge run, but they could not make any moves in. So it is Vettel that's in lead because Verstappen's back here. Why didn't Verstappen start way so far in the back? Up to a faster engine mode, please. We're two laps over target on fuel. Whatever, I ain't changing. I'm saving up my ERS deployment. Is that the pit here? Sure. I'm doing my best to run him down. 
and Sebastian Vettel has won the race. Good for him, and I'm gonna finish in a disappointment, 19. Magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Red Bull today. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximize the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Sebastian Vettel is our new championship leader after a great result. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for Driver of the Day? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today. So, Vettel won the race, my F2 teammates Weber got second and Butler got fifth in, in the standings, I dropped the tenth and Ricardo's still down there, still doesn't know how to finish in points, so I'm going to negotiate for uh, first driver. I uh, 
stayed in seventh, but hopefully after Red Bull I can get after Red Bull hopefully I can get maybe up to six if I can get a good points day of Weber, Russell, Perez, and Leclerc for a bad points day, which that's what I'm hoping for. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Uh, not great work. I'm a pathetic race. What's it like seeing your old F2 teammate up on the podium today? I'm always happy to see him do good. Your former teammate Lucas just moved ahead of you in the points. What happened? I'm, I'm not going to comment on that. I, I, I... Do you think you were lucky not to end your race with that crash? I'm awesome. That's, I think that's the best thing I could say. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Claire. Won the rivalry over uh, Butler by just three, four points, and barely ahead of uh, Ricardo. Which crap happens, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna really love that reward out of the Butler rivalry victory. Because maybe I can get some efficiency upgrades in. Because my next focus right now, I want to get I want to get part upgrades going, but I also need the efficiency upgrades going. I need the efficiency upgrades going, in, and I knew that I knew that was gonna happen. So, okay, negotiation what on time. Earth was that performance? Come on, this isn't bumper cars at the fairground. Your results and conduct here matter, so pay more attention. We can't afford too many races like that. I'm going for first driver. I don't care. That's what I'm doing. Okay, that proposal looks good. <laughs> it seems I got all first driver. are happy with the deal. So it'll commence the next race weekend. So I got first driver, which is good. And uh, I better go choose an arrival. Alright. So it's keeping me with Butler? Why is it keeping me with Butler? Whatever. So, for this. If it were me, this is probably what I'd invest in. No. Uh -huh. Let me see what the. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me get a efficiency upgrade in. And let me check out, see how, how much cheaper that's gone. That's gotten a lot cheaper, which is really good. So, the more efficiency upgrades I can get, the better for my team for these part upgrades, but I also really need to get those aerodynamic efficiency upgrades going, because if I, because right now my main focus is to get those efficiency upgrades going, as soon as I can get the max, which my place hopefully get maxed out, because if I can, that will be wonderful, tremendous, so that I don't have to spend so much on the, on the uh, parts. Sorry, Arrow, for making you feel crappy, and I, I just didn't know what to say, I didn't want to run, I didn't want to lower my rep even lower. But we're going to be going to Spielenberg for the Austria Grand Prix at Red Bull, or Red Bull, and we go back to Season 1, I get first place. I sort of practically to go down the race, despite I accidentally took out Val Valtteri Bottas for the win. So hopefully this year, I don't do that this time. I fairly win this race. And I've looked at comparison to the season. We finished better in nearly all these races. The only one the only one we did not finish better in was Monaco, Baku, and France. Those are the only ones that didn't finish better. I finished worse. So hopefully I can keep the strand up with better finishes. And my goal is for the next for the four races that I DNF last year. I don't DNF, I finish so that way I know I'm improving because I feel like that was just that was just a rough season. I have my rough seasons. Plus, I'm very new to the game still, but I feel like with my experience, it's increasing. So yeah. So tune in for next time. We will be going to Red Bull. Until then, I will see y'all later.